What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than I normally do. I'm going to be giving you guys my rundown of E3 2015. What I think we can see there, what I think we'll probably see. There's probably some unlikelies in this list, things that won't show up, but I've got big hopes that E3 2015 is going to be really exciting. Now E3 has always been a very, very fun time for me every year. It's uh, something that I always put things on hold for. I'm actually taking a vacation this year for a solid week so I can soak up all the gaming goodness. And this year is going to be one of the most unique years for E3 I think I've ever seen because we've got so many new companies jumping into this fray and uh, exhibiting their stuff. Companies like Bethesda, Square Enix, they're all going to be at E3 exhibiting their games and their brand. Normally they let Sony or Microsoft or, you know, other companies, ex you know, show off their games, and exhibit what they've been making, but now they've got so much, uh, you know, behind the scenes for themselves and they're able to get out there and bolster up excitement for their brand. So I think it's going to be a really, really good year. So I want to get started with my list. I've been making this list all week on Beastly Thoughts today. On Sunday, we're going to be actually doing this list. I probably won't have time on that show to go through everything I thought about, but I'm going to start here with Sony. I think Sony, we're going to see Gran Turismo 7. I think that that's something they've been working on for probably about three years, and um, I think it's probably going to be what Gran Turismo has always been, the top tier of racing sims. And uh, I, I hope that they're able to pull back, you know, and, and make it what it used to be because as of lately, it's kind of lost its luster and there's been lots and lots of other competition and many other racing sims that have taken that that crown, taken that title as the best racing sim. So we'll see what happens there. But I'm thinking that we'll see Gran Turismo 7. I think that we're going to see Guerrilla Games, new IP that they've been working on. If you guys don't know who Guerrilla is, they've made all the Killzone games for PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. They made Killzone Mercenary for PlayStation Vita, which is a very fun game. I'm thinking we're going to see something from them as well. Hopefully they, they show their new IP. I think it's going to be like an R RPG type of game, but I'm really excited to see what they come up with, to see a, a company that has been focused on one direction of gaming to go another direction. I, I like to see that uh, ingenuity and I like to see that originality so I'm, I'm really anxious to see what they do there. I'm hoping this is something that not many people are talking about but I'm a big fan of the Resistance game series. I don't know if you guys ever had the opportunity of playing Resistance but Resistance has been a very very fun game for me. Uh, I think the first Resistance game came out with the PlayStation 3 and uh, I beat them all you know and they have co-op campaigns. I know Resistance 3's co-op campaign me and my wife played and beat it together and it was amazing. I would love to see that world fully realized on the PS4 and I'm really looking looking forward to it. I'm optimistic that they do something with it because Resistance is a very fun game. Uh, I think that we're going to see something with No Man's Sky. This uh, very small developer, I think it has about 10 or 12 people making this game. A lot of people got really excited when this game was actually revealed because it's procedurally generated and it's randomly generated. And so the world that you're in, it, it's expansive and it goes on forever. All the planets and stars are all generated as you travel so you never reach the end of the world or of the inside game so it's pretty exciting but hopefully if they do show this game they give us an idea of what your role is in the game you know I think it'll just be boring if you're just going from planet to planet and looking at animals and going underwater I think it has to have some kind of meat on it and some kind of mission so I'm looking forward to seeing what they do there I'm also thinking that Sony's going to do something with Project Morpheus. They've been working on it now for probably close to two years, and VR is right there. At, we're at the door of VR now. You know, we got Oculus Rift, we got the HoloLens with Microsoft, and I'm thinking that Project Morpheus, they're going to show us what this thing looks like, what the final product is going to look like, maybe give us a price point. I'm thinking the price point, if I had to guess, would be somewhere around $299 to $350. I think that's probably the point they're going to be sticking at. And hopefully they have some demos that people can actually put on and try it out and see see how it feels. I think that uh, right now is a good time for him to do that. I think that uh, we may see another Uncharted 4 demo to keep up excitement after this, you know, the game was pushed back and delayed. Everybody kind of fell out of love with it at that moment because you got to wait for another few months. But I'm thinking that they'll probably put together a better uh, crafted demo for people to play at E3 to keep up excitement with Naughty Dog. Um, I'm thinking that there's possibly going to be a Gravity Rush 2. Gravity Rush 2 for the PS4. If you guys don't know what Gravity Rush is, it's a PS Vita game in which you're this little girl princess and you got a cat with you and you can, you know, basically turn gravity on his ear and fly any direction because you can make gravity go up and you fight enemies and it's pretty awesome. It's very, it just feels like you're really in this crazy world when you're with your Vita because it works through the, the axis motion of the Vita and you can actually move and turn. It's really awesome. I think Sony Ben's new game is going to be showing off. Um, they've been working on that forever and there's possibly 
Now they're going to show off the new Ratchet and Clank game. Now I know that uh, for me, Ratchet and Clank is done. That era for me is kind of, I've fallen out of it because I've gotten so much older. But I know there's a lot of people looking forward to Ratchet and Clank. I think it's going to be kind of like a remake. So I look forward to possibly seeing that. And unlikely, but one I would still love to see at E3. And I know it's not going to happen. I would love to see Jumping Flash 1 and 2 remade for the PlayStation 4. Uh, you know, and reworked so the controls work better. And you're able to do more with, with uh, Rabbit the Rabbit. Uh, that game is really awesome. If you guys haven't played Jumping Flash, please do. So I'm going to be moving over to Nintendo now. I think Nintendo's going to show uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I think they're going to put a date on it. I think we're going to possibly see um, a Metroid game. <laughs> I, mean, I say possibly because you never can tell with Nintendo. But I, I hope that we see something from Metroid. Um, I think they're going to show some possibly some uh, mobile games with their DNA partnership you know Nintendo's embarking on this crazy uh, cell phone tablet uh, endeavor with DNA and they're gonna be making all these crazy mobile games so I'm thinking we're gonna see some of that I'm thinking that we're gonna see uh, possibly now this is another unlikely but possibly this NX console I think they might they might talk about it I know that it's slated to be revealed in 2016 but they may Hit on it just a little bit so we can kind of see what we're what it's going to be. Is it going to be a home console and a portable console combined? Is it going to just be a portable you plug into your TV? I think that they could possibly, uh, you know, get onto that and let us know exactly what we can expect. So Nintendo, that's what I think with you. Bethesda, I think Bethesda is going to have a hell of a show this year. Number one, I think there's no way in hell we're not going to see Fallout 4. That's going to be probably the number one thing at all of E3 this year. Fallout 4, I think everyone and their mothers is excited about that. And it's been so long in development. And, and Bethesda's so quiet about it. You know, they don't let anything leak. And uh, I'm thinking that we're going to probably see a demo of that and potentially a release date. I would love to see a release holiday, 15. Uh, but I'm being overly optimistic. We'll probably see it 2016, but I think that'll definitely be the thing that they end their show with. I don't think it'll be something that they just start off with. I think we'll see some Dishonored 2, uh, maybe a reveal, a trailer. I don't know if they're going to show any gameplay. Possibly, possibly a demo of it, you know, because they've been, like I said, Bethesda's very quiet and they do things very sneakily. I know we're going to see a demo of Doom because it was actually demoed uh, in a closed door event a few months ago. And so a lot of people actually already have the opportunity to play Doom and they're able to talk about what they played, but without any visualization, our minds are still kind of drawing a blank to the experience. So I'm looking forward to them showing us what that's all about. Also, uh, there's some talk about their upcoming. MMO is called Battle Cry, and I don't know too much about it, but I'm pretty sure that since there's been so much fervor around it, they're going to do some talk about that. I'm not really the biggest MMO guy, but I'm sure lots of you guys are, so look forward to that. EA. I think EA is going to have some Dragon Age Inquisition DLC. Uh, the game is really, really popular. My wife's playing it at this moment right now, uh, so that'll probably be happening at E3. I think they're going to reveal some new Need for Speed type of game. You know, Need for Speed has always been out in the open, and everybody's been able to access it, and it's been a long time since we've had a good one, and so uh, I think that'll be something that happens. I'm really looking forward to Mirror's Edge 2. Mirror's Edge 1 was one of my favorite games of the last generation, and uh, it got me through a really rough patch in my life, believe it or not. I spent a lot of time running around with faith and experiencing that world. It was very beautiful and, and pristine, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they're able to do with that franchise. Uh, I think that we'll get some some kind of Star Wars Battlefront information and details. Hopefully they'll be able to detail fully what the uh, single player is like because there's no story missions and I know a lot of people are upset about that and I think EA is going to end their conference with Mass Effect I think that'll definitely happen I think too many people are excited about Mass Effect this is a whole new game it has no uh, Commander Shepard it's going to be a totally different experience and I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like on next generation console so I think that'll be EA's conference now going to Ubisoft I think we're going to see this new this is like, like a little teaser floating around the internet of the new Assassin's Creed it shows a hand doing something and I think a lot of people are excited about that I'm just not the biggest Assassin's Creed fan uh, ever since the first two the story has become kind of convoluted to me and it seems like they are recycling the same gameplay mechanics every time and I have nothing against the game I mean I love video games all day but for some reason Assassin's Creed just does not grab me as a gamer the way other games do and it's nothing against the game it's just maybe it's me you know uh, but I think that we're gonna see some Rainbow Six Siege I think that we're gonna see a demo of that game and hopefully a release date that game looks really exciting and uh, 
I like the, the fact that it's a four versus four or five versus five, I think. There's no respawns. It's very tactical. It kind of reminds me of this game here, The Last of Us. You got to work together with your team. You got to be able to communicate. You go through walls, ceilings, and floors. It's going to be super, super exciting. I think that we're going to finally see some division stuff. I think they're going to demo it and hopefully give us a concrete release date for that game because that's going to be fucking amazing. And everybody who's ever seen the division has been excited about it from day one. And so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens there. Uh, also, I think that we may, we just might see a new Splinter Cell game uh, for next-gen consoles. That'd be fun to see. Uh, and, and if that happens, I think everybody out there would be pretty excited about it. And that's what I'm thinking Ubisoft will be doing this year. Now, finally ending, I think Square, which is a company I love to death, is going to have a pretty decent conference. They're actually going to have the same time as Nintendo Direct. So if Nintendo keeps their regular time, they'll be going head to head. That's going to be kind of kind of weird and funny to watch. Uh, so I think we're going to see this Deus Ex Mankind Divided game. Of course, they've already talked about this. I think that'll probably be something they're headlining with. Uh, I'm not really that big into it, honestly. And uh, you know, once again, it's it's not you. It's just me. I think we're going to see possibly possibly some Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, and but I know that game's probably out till early 2017. Uh, I'm thinking we'll see just cost 3 because they've already shown gameplay of that and that looks like it'll be exciting I know they're going to show Final Fantasy 15 because they've already shown shit tons of that game and I'm hoping that they show Final Fantasy Dissidia for PS4 that's the arcade game that's based on the PSP franchise Dissidia where you're going 3 versus 3 in an open expansive world I think that'll be awesome you guys let me know about what you think E3 was going to be this year let me know about your predictions and let me know if I missed anything be sure to give a thumbs up if you like this video guys and if you're new to the channel subscribe I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.